Hi, I'm Elena. I'm part of Zoho's official partner company, and today I'll walk you through Zoho Directory 2.0. In this video, we will look at what's new, how security has been strengthened, and the practical ways these updates make identity and access management easier for your organization. I'll keep things casual and clear, and at the end I'll tell you how to try this out and get a free consultation. Stick around, ask questions in the comments, and let's jump in to see what Directory 2.0 brings to the table. Let's start with Cloud Radius and why it matters. At home. A shared Wi-Fi password works fine, but in companies that approach is risky. Cloud Radius in Zoho Directory links network access to each user identity, so only authorized people can join corporate Wi-Fi. That removes the need for on-premise Radius servers and lowers IT overhead while improving visibility. You can manage who connects centrally, revoke access quickly when someone leaves, and avoid shared passwords floating around. It's a practical step towards safer network access without extra hardware to maintain. Next up, Smart groups. When your organization grows, manual user updates get painful. Smart groups automate how employees are grouped based on rules you set, like email domain, country, time zone, job title, or language. You can stack conditions to build more specific groups, and those groups let you assign apps, access rights, and security policies in bulk. That saves admins time and reduces mistakes from one-by-one -one changes. It's especially helpful for seasonal hires, contractors, or multi-region teams where conditions change often. Now let's talk conditional access. Traditional one-size-fits-all login rules do not address modern risk patterns. Conditional access in Zoho directory evaluates sign-in attempts based on things like location, time of day, IP address, device, and platform. If a login matches your safe conditions, access is allowed. If it looks risky, you can require multi-factor authentication or deny access entirely. This gives you the flexibility to adapt security to context, protecting sensitive resources while not slowing down regular user work. It's about smarter response, not just stricter friction for everyone. Authentication methods vary. Passwords, passwordless flows, social logins, or custom identity providers. Routing policy in Zoho directory lets you set which first. Factor applies for which users or teams. You can require passwordless for some groups. Allow social logins for others or route specific departments to a custom identity provider. This helps align security with job roles and reduces support calls. It also means you can roll out modern methods gradually while keeping legacy options where needed. Routing policy helps make authentication match your organization's practical needs. Bring your own key, or BYOK, is about giving customers control over encryption keys. In the cloud era, companies want confidence their sensitive data is protected under their own keys. With BYOK in Zoho directory, you can provide the key encryption key you prefer, while Zoho still manages strong encryption practices. That extra layer of control can help meet internal security policies and regulatory requirements. It's a clear option for teams that must demonstrate custody and control over critical encryption material. Many IT teams are slowed down by on-premise LDAPI servers that must stay online for older applications. Cloud LDAPI in Zoho Directory brings secure LDAPI authentication to the cloud so you can connect and authenticate apps, printers, and other endpoints without maintaining physical LDAP servers. That means you can support tools like Atlassian Jira, Jenkins, and other LDAP-reliant systems from the cloud. Simplify infrastructure and centralize access control. It's a practical bridge between legacy apps and modern identity management. Audit logs are essential for security and compliance. And Zoho Directory 2.0 expands on this. The logs record admin operations, changes to permissions, and policy updates, capturing who did what, when, and from where. That level of traceability helps you spot suspicious activity, investigate incidents, and demonstrate compliance for audits like GDPR or ISO. Having detailed searchable logs reduces guesswork when an issue appears and makes it faster to explain changes during assessments or investigations. Anomaly detection watches for unusual or risky user activity and flags it for review. For example, 
If someone normally logs in from one country and suddenly signs in from another, the system alerts admins. It also tracks odd changes like unexpected password resets, MFA changes, or role updates. Alerts are organized in a clear dashboard with reasons for each anomaly, so admins can quickly decide whether to block access, require verification, or ignore a harmless event. This helps teams find potential threats before they escalate. To wrap up, Zoho Directory 2.0 brings a fresher UI and a set of practical features, centralized Wi-Fi authentication with cloud radius, smarter grouping, conditional access, dot, routing controls, BYOK, Cloud LDAP, detailed audit logs, and anomaly detection. Together, these updates make workforce identity simpler to manage, more flexible for real-world work patterns, and stronger against threats. If you run IT or manage users, these changes can shorten response times, reduce admin toil, and improve compliance posture. If you want a deeper demo, I'll tell you how to get one in the next segment. Thanks for watching. I'm Elena from Zoho's official partner company. If you like this overview, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more practical IT and identity tips. Want to try Zoho Directory 2.0 or explore Zoho One as a complete IT ecosystem solution? Book a free consultation through the link and we can set up a demo. Also, leave your questions in the comments. I will try to answer them. Hit like, subscribe, and book your free consultation to get started. See you in the next video.